Hi everybody, Will Burtner here coming from Coomber Craft Wines Oceanside. Today I'm going to talk about waxing the top of a bottle of wine. It's actually something you can do yourself. If you have a fryer at home, you can use that and this is the best way to do it uh, because you need to get the wax up to 300 degrees. And so what we do here is we uh, order these pellets from blendedwaxes.com. You can see the little pellets as they go in there. Good that they don't stick too much. And we just dump them in here, heat it up. And in these fryers, it takes no more than five or 10 minutes. And you wanna get it to just about exactly 300 degrees. Cause once you get it to 300 degrees, it's not gonna be too viscous and not too thin either. So then it's pretty easy after that. Cause then we're just gonna dip it in the water that hardens the wax and we're all good. So this is our uh, private reserve Rutherford Cabernet. And so I'm gonna dip this as we do with all of our other bottles and uh, show you how this works. So basically, we're gonna dip it down here and then you wanna turn it about eight or nine times, right? You wanna get all that excess wax off of it because you don't want it to drip down. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out of it. Give it a couple extra little turns, get that off of there and then it just goes right into the water. That seals it. Right, and then we get that, and then it's actually it'll just be a little tacky for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then it will be hard as could be. The cool thing about this is that once it's dried up, you just take your corkscrew and you go directly down in the middle of this and pull it out. You don't have to cut around it, you don't have to do anything. So come on in to Coomber Craft Wines Oceanside. You can experience one of our bottles here. This is our real high-end bottle, so uh, it will be a little pricey. This one we get 159 for, um, but it's a fantastic uh, gift or uh, bring somebody in if you're entertaining somebody. I think you'll really enjoy it.